The database stores and manages information about all contact related objects in your system. If you don't keep the database in order, it will be slow and difficult to find instruments. In today's video tutorial, we'll go over tips on using and optimizing the database. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. The database stores and manages information about all contact related objects on your system. It uses metadata to keep track of your files. Native instruments libraries come pre-tagged with this metadata, but third-party and custom content does not. Today, I'll show you how to add this metadata as well as how to use and optimize the database. So to get to the database, just click on the database tab on the left-hand side in the browser section. Another way, um, you have database options here as well as all the database information. Another way to get to the database option is just to click on options database this gets you to the same place as db options so let's take a look at how we can add a location for contact index so click on database options and then click on the add button and just add a folder so the contents of the folder have been added to the list of locations um, the database will monitor but it won't be indexed until the next time contact is opened. So to update the database immediately, uh, click on the update button. If you have a lot of items, this may take a while. So when the scan is complete, the contents of the new folder will be indexed in the database. To remove an item, just highlight it and click the remove button. So once your database is populated, you can search the database by any meta metadata attribute. So these include things like type, bank, timber, author, and vendor. The attribute list works as a filter by only displaying results that matches the selected attributes. You can also limit the type of objects in the results list by using the multi, uh, bank, instrument, group, sample, and preset um, type switches. So once you have results in the results list by filtering and searching, uh, to load an instrument, just simply double click on it or drag it in, into the um, rack to load it and you can also drag multiple um, items into the rack to load it so most of these are on my external hard drive so if I try to load it I'll just get an error okay so the columns of the attribute list can be customized to change or remove a column just right click on this header I'm gonna add one first so that I don't mess anything up so right click on the header and select a different attribute set to change it. Change that to bank or click on the, the same one to remove it. And like I just showed you to add one, you just click the plus button and it will always be on the right hand side. So you might have to scroll over to see it. So the order of columns is important as contact processes them in order from left to right. Each column only displays attributes that are in the filter results at that point. So that means is uh, when you select something in the first column, it drives what is shown in the next column. So I selected piano keys. So only piano keys that have this, this attribute will show up here. And only banks that have these two attributes, type and subtype, will show up in bank and so on and so forth. Now, because of this, the way it works, you can't just reorder columns by drag and drop because that would mean um, the database would have to be re-indexed for that to work because right now the index is, is um, indexed based on this this uh, filter strategy so type drives bank you know so these are dependencies so if you if you reorder the columns the dependencies will change and so that's why you that's why contact doesn't let you just simply drag and drop the columns to reorder them because it would have to re-index the the database to figure this information out okay so to reorder the columns what you need to do is you need to remove all of them first. So you would come and you know remove all of them by clicking on its name when you right click. And then you would add them back one by one in the order that you want. Um, my recommendation, um, there's not a lot of attribute columns that you can add. So you have type, bank, timber, vendor, and then you have author. There used to be a lot more but contact um, they streamline their database and this is what you have left so 
my recommendation is to leave these as is because um, type is the parent like this is a this is a parent filter if you decided you want to search by bank first um, you will be hard pressed to actually find instruments because you won't be searching all across all of your instruments you would only be searching in a specific bank so if I wanted to find all my grand pianos and I, I had bank listed first um, I would have to go through each single one to find grand pianos. That doesn't make any sense. I want to find a grand piano. I don't care about bank. So that's why the type is in front. So I click on pianos first, grand piano, and then I can go through each bank to see what's there. And so that makes the most sense logically. So I highly recommend to not change the order of these columns. Um, you can maybe add a vendor column. You know, if you know you want specific instruments from a specific you know one of your vendor, favorite vendors it makes sense to add the vendor column I use a vendor column a lot okay so now to adjust how the attribute list handles selections of more than one attribute right click on a column header and select options okay so multi select um, multi select lets you select multiple attributes from the column just by clicking on each one okay so um, right now if you look at this um, I can only select one right so if I turn a multi select on I can select many with just by just by clicking okay well here's a here's a tip you can turn single select on which is on right now see I can only select one but if you hold down the um, the control or command key while you click, you can still select more than one. So I recommend that you leave single select on and just use a command. Uh, if you want to select more than one, just uh, select uh, use a command key. That way you get the best of both worlds. Okay, so now the other option or an and this defines how multiple selections will affect the results list um, if you choose or it will include files that match any of the attributes you select if you select and it will only match um, uh, files that match the, all of the attributes that you select so this is any this is all okay so keep that in mind so if your collection is extremely large or you want to find a very specific item, you can also use a keyword search. The text search bar is between the attributes list and the results list. It contains a text field, a results counter, and an X button. So keyword searches occur as you type and to search for multiple keywords, just enter the words separated with a space in between them. So let's say piano, Grand Berlin. Okay, so this is a multiple keyword search. And also, if you want to search the entire database, right now um, I'm filtered, so I'm only searching a subset. I'm only searching piano keys, grand piano. If you want to search the entire database, you need to make sure that your filters are removed. Um, so I still got the same results. So those are all the grand pianos in my library. So only these will that have Berlin in the name. Only six. Okay. So if you want to, uh, so the number of results are displayed here on the right. And if you want to clear the search and also clear the filters, just click the X button. So this clears the search and any filters you you selected. You can configure the results list by right clicking on the column header. In the sub menu, click on the name of the column to add or remove it. Columns can also be reordered by dragging the column header or resized by dragging the column header separator. And to sort columns, click on the header column. To add metadata to your third party libraries and custom content, filter and search to display the items in the results list. So I'm going to choose third party EMU. Okay. 
So once you have what you want um, by filtering, um, let's say string, okay? Uh, select the items and either click on the edit button or right click and go to edit. So this will display the edit window. In the edit window, attribute sets are displayed in columns similarly to the attributes list. In the first column, select info or standard In the second column, select author, vendor, or bank. Um, these are only displayed if you're in info. And then if you're in standard, you see type and timber. The third column contains the values of the attributes. To toggle a value, simply click it. You can assign more than one um, at a, attribute at a time. So right now I have vendor um, and VM EMU is selected. So I can also select, um, well, for vendor, you can only click um, choose one vendor, but it's EMU. But for instance, I can make a new author, um, but I don't need author for these instruments, so I'm gonna leave it blank. Okay, so attributes that are currently assigned has a black check mark next to it, which indicates that the attribute is assigned to all of the selected objects. If you see a gray check mark, that means that the attribute is assigned to some, but not all. So for instance, I can, um, you know, if this was, um, I mean, show you what it looks like. It's a lot easier. I'm going to change this. Oops. Edit author. I'm not the author, but I'm just going to put this in here for now. Save. Okay. So I'm going to choose the same instruments and go to edit okay so now as you can see author has a, a gray checkbox next to it because one of these has author indicated all right so that's how you um that's what the check marks check marks mean okay so i also showed you how to add a new column or a new value so you basically just create hit, click create new and you enter in your new value um and of course, when you're done, you click save and this will save your changes. You can also hit cancel to um, to discard your changes. OK, so now you might want to ask yourself, how do I get rid of a, um, a attribute that value that I just added? Um, the short answer is you can't. Um, so what happens is if you deselect it for all of the selected items, this will eventually get deleted because nothing is using it. So basically any value that's not being used gets purged. Okay. So that's the only way that you can get rid of um, values that you added. Oops. Okay. So if you add, if you, if, if you add a lot of values and you're wondering, um, and it doesn't happen until you, the database is updated. So if you want to clear out your values, you, you'll need to run an update first. Okay. So if you if you select a single item and click edit, um, you'll get a form with text fields at the bottom of the edit window, along with the attribute list on top. This allows you to edit or add multiple attributes in one convenient location. It also allows you to edit the comment attribute. So this is the only way to edit comments is to use um, the single edit window. OK. All right, let's talk about optimizing. So the database has a direct effect on contacts performance. So you want to make sure that it's efficient as possible. So here are some recommended settings and tips to have your database in tip top condition. So first go to DB options. And the first thing that you want to do is disable include samples in database scan. Um, contact doesn't add waves or AIFFs to the database because the amount of entries needed for samples will reduce the performance and increase the database size. So it is highly recommended, and I mean highly recommended to leave this option disabled. Because if you do not, if you add a hundred instruments to your database, and each of those hundred instruments contain five thousand samples apiece, it will add all of the samples to your database. Okay. So this will make your database extremely large. Um, the memory will increase and it will make it slow 
during loading and it will make make it slow during searching and it will make it slow 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 so that's a no-no I don't know why this is even an option do not enable this option okay pretty please okay the next thing that you want to do is enable the option automatically add loaded or saved files to the database so what this will do is this will add any instruments, multis, or banks to the database and index them when they are loaded or saved. So contact will do this whether the files reside in a monitored location or not. So this is a huge advantage because what this does is this allows you to work with instruments without having to add it manually to this folder. Okay, and another tip, if you're constantly moving and rearranging files and folders in your file system, you want to periodically reset the database. So in the database options, you click on the update button to only add new references. And then you click on the reset and scan button to purge the entire database and re-add references. Like I said in earlier, um, this will completely wipe out your database and only items in this list will be added back. Okay. And one last tip that I forgot to tell you. Um, when you are searching using the um, when you're searching using the uh, using a database if you drag a folder if you drag a folder into this this will provide a hint for searching the hint will only last as long as the contact instance is open but for instance if you are browsing your, your directory and you know there's an instrument that you want to um, that, that's in the folder that you want to use in your database, what you can do is drag the folder into um, the results list and it will be used as a hint for when you search. Okay, that's an unknown um, tip that uh, a lot of people that don't know about. The database is your gateway to all things contact in your system. Learning on how to add it, add to it, search it, modify attributes of it, and optimize it is key to having a good user experience when using contact. So put some time aside to properly organize and tag your content so the next time you're feeling creative, you can find that specific instrument quickly. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR Contact Tutorials, Supercharger Contact Skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. And I go make some music.